Hey everyone, so I am back at it to make you guys another piercing video. Um, today I'm going to talk uh, generally about various cartilage piercings such as rook, trachis, and conch. Um, I'm not going to make a video for each different piercing just because so much of the information as far as um, pricing, pain, um, and aftercare overlap. So um, I think it would be pointless. I'm just going to do it all in one video. Um, so to start off... I have um, on my right ear, I have various lobes, and then I have the hoop, um, a stud, I have my rook pierced, and then right below it I have my conch, um, if you can see that. Um, and then on my left ear, I have um, a trachis to conch, and there's a bar right here, um, I have various ones over here, and then I have one all the way at the top right over here um so yeah those are my various cartilage piercings um so i think i'm going to start by talking and go from um the most painful to the least painful um so i would definitely have to say that the my rook took the cake for being the most painful um on a, and i have a highly pain high pain tolerance and it's kind of hard to um to talk about pain tolerance just because everyone is different and everyone's going to have a different reaction um, but for me my rook was a 8. Um, it was very painful um, it's such a thick piece of cartilage um, I remember afterwards it having that like throbbing sensation and you're just like oh my gosh it's so sore um, I actually did take Tylenol for that one because it did hurt um, and I also remember it taking a while to um, for me to be able to sleep on that side. Um, even years later, I've had my rook for three years, and if someone bangs it the wrong way or hugs me like way too tight and like hits it, um, it gets sore uh, momentarily, which it doesn't happen for any of my other cartilage piercings. Um, so that was my rook. Um, then the next painful would be my conch. My left conch hurt a lot more than my right conch. Um, it hurt just as much as my rook or like slightly less, like maybe a seven on a scale of 10. Um, it was definitely, um, sore afterwards and I didn't get the trachis to the con conch all in one swoop. I did my trachis first and then a couple of months after that I did my conch and then a full year after that I got the bar put through. Um... You can get it all done at one time, just like you would get your industrial all done at one time, but I didn't want to cause that much trauma to my ear, knowing, you know, so I, I waited for both um, trachis and conch to be completely healed for me to stick the bar through. Um, so yeah, my conch was definitely my next painful. Um, and then trachis was, out of all of those, were the least painful was probably a five. I thought the trachis was going to hurt a lot, um, so I prepared myself for it to hurt a lot, and it didn't hurt at all. Um, my right side, I've tried having a vertical trachis, and it completely rejected. Both times I tried getting a pierce, it didn't work. Uh, but my left ear has been fine. Um, initially, I got my trachis pierced with a hoop, um, but the hoop got infected. Um, so I waited for it to, to heal a little bit, and then I switched it to a stud, and then after that, it was fine. And then ever since I put the bar in, it's been two years, and haven't changed the jewelry, and it's been completely perfect. Um, no infections, no nothing. That ear has been great. Um, and then this conch, I just got two days ago. So it's fresh, it's brand new, um, it doesn't look too, too red, um, but yeah, I just got that done. Um, and this conch hurt so much less than my left ear. So I mean, just like pain tolerance varies from person to person, I mean, even side to side, this one hurt way less. Um, the initial and no pun intended, it's a piercing pain. I mean, the pain, it's just, it um, stings and it, it is very sh a sharp pain, but it wasn't even the initial piercing that hurt too bad. It was getting the jewelry in that like, then I was like, my face was like, eh. you know, it hurt a lot. Um, but still not nearly as much as um, this conch. Um, so that, those are all pain tolerances. 
Um, as far as pricing is concerned, um, I paid $50 for each of my cartilage piercings. Um, I think my conch might have been a slightly more, but I'm not 100% sure. I think they were all 50 um, which I tell some people that, and they are like, oh my gosh, why would I spend $50 to get even this one pierced? Um, I can just go to Piercing Pagoda or Claire's and get it done for like 20 bucks. But that's the thing. Like, car uh, cartilage is you know, really a sensitive and though, despite, you know, um, so many people going to Piercing Pagoda or Claire's, um, a, a piercing gun can shatter your cartilage and there's so much, there's a lot higher of a chance for it to get infected. Um, $50 might seem like a lot, but I'd rather have my piercing look nice, not get infected, and know it's getting uh, being done by a professional who knows what they're doing, rather than some random lady that got hired at Piercing Pagoda um, doesn't know what they're doing, and then it looks terrible. Um, quality over anything for me. Um, there's no, what's the point of, uh, or why would you want to get the same spot pierced twice when you could get it done once and it'll be fine? It's a, not only a waste of your um, uh, time is a waste of your money um, and no one likes an infected piercing it doesn't look pretty and it doesn't feel too good you know if it is infected having to wait for it to heal and then get it re-pierced so you know spend the 50 bucks go to professional reputable piercer and have it done and look nice um, I think it's worth it um, and some people might think this is common sense to not get your cartilage pierced with a piercing gun or a piercing pagoda but you know recently I've watched a lot of um, YouTube tutorial or YouTube videos on people who've gotten their trachis pierced with a piercing gun or pierced their nose with a piercing gun. Um, so I don't think it's common sense because enough people are still doing it and enough people are still coming out with crappy looking piercings. Um, so definitely look up your piercer, see if he's reputable, see if the shop's reputable, um, and just make sure you're getting quality work done. Um, I have no complaints over mine. They all, the placement, you know, everything has been really really good um, and then as far as aftercare and cleaning is concerned I have my best friend in the world this H2O spray right here um, which was featured in my last piercing video I swear by this I live by this this is my best friend um, this H2O ocean purified ocean salt water spray um, I use this for everything um, and I use it constantly. I clean my piercings every day with this from my ears to my belly button, my dermals, my septum, everything. Um, this is great. If it's feeling irritated or it's a little red or getting a little bit infected, I soak my ears in this. I'll put like a little piece of a um, toilet paper or tissue or cotton ball and soak it um, with this and then put it on my ear and leave it there for a while and by the next day my ear is feeling or whatever it is is feeling a hundred times better um, so my piercer sells it as it uh, at his shop for $12 um, <coughs> sorry um, not all places have it some people do some people don't um, you can also order also order it online um, my last video I posted a link below on where you can find it so I will do the same for this video this stuff is great. Um, I always keep one with me. Um, I clean my piercings at night and morning with this. Um, I take it, take it wherever I go, just in case. Um, so that is this H2O spray. You can also use unscented antibacterial soap um, and water um, if that's easier for you. I just like this. It's really convenient, and I know it works well. Um, so that is this. Um, I'm trying to think if there's anything else I can add about cartilage piercings. Um, the only other piercing I have, which be, I, I guess is the one that's up here, um, the one all the way up there if you can see it, um, that was probably like a four. It didn't hurt too bad. Um, the only thing I can say with any cartilage piercings, because there's other piercings that I like and think look good, um, I have really long, thick hair. and. I never realized how much I like push my hair behind my ears or I'm just messing with you know trying to figure out what to do with it um, so I have that one all the way up there and that one gets um, irritated a lot just because I'm constantly putting my hair back and my nail brushes it and stuff like that so I, it is um, you do need to consider like the placement of where you're getting it and 
your daily activities or what you do on a daily basis. Um, and then lastly, as like a side note, really quick blurb, um, inner ear headphones with trachis and conch piercings. Um, I didn't initially did not think it was going to affect it. Um, but even when I just had the stud conch in there or the stud trachis in there, I still couldn't wear inner ear headphones and didn't find, couldn't find a brand that could fit comfortably or not fall out. Um, and now that I have the bar in, I mean, I haven't used inner ear headphones in a while, um, in years, but if it, you are someone who, you know, really does like inner ear headphones and works out a lot with inner ear headphones, it is something to consider because despite the fact that the piercing, like a conch stud is really, really small, um, even having headphones, you know, sit on it is really, really irritating. It can make it sore if you're, you know, listening for a long time. And mine always used to fall out. So it is something to consider. Um, I know some people don't like over-the-ear headphones. I myself still am not a huge fan of running on a treadmill with, you know, huge over-ear headphones in. But I'd rather have cute piercing. So it is what it is. Um, so, yeah, if you guys have any other questions... Um, feel free to ask or comment below and I promise I will get back to you. Um, I'll show you one last time. So the rook is right here. It is a little um, queen crown because I am a queen. No, I'm just kidding. Um, and then on this ear, I have the trachis de conch. Here's a bar. It does go all the way through. I don't, I'm not sure if you can see that. Um, and then just like regular ones up and down. So those are just a couple different um, cartilage piercings you can get and information on them. So hope this helped and was informative. And if you have any other questions, feel free to ask me. I will post the link to this below. See ya.